question. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, how, being a vet planner, it's like, how is work life balance? You know, I bet you guys have really hectic, non typical days and stuff like that. Um, when it's off season for me, I'm, I'm very much into my family and friends. In fact, on my Facebook, I just posted you a know, thank you for all my friends that you know have not seen me in months because I've been going crazy and, and are still my friends. Um, when it's crazy time, it's just it's just part of life. I don't know. I don't look at. I mean, I still try to balance it. I I'm a person that in the summer in Flagstaff, it is my busiest and things are going crazy, but. From 8 o'clock until about 10.30, I sit outside and listen to music with my husband, and that's how we reconnect and just talk. No TV, none of this, it's just, and that's what I do, just so that I can be sane. Yeah, you do need to connect. My husband has picked up some other hobbies that keep him busy because, you know, we have, the youngest just got married, so we don't have kids, although two laps are almost like kids. We have a lot of time. Um, I get complaints, you know, you're not going to be able to go with me, and I'm sorry. We just did a trip the conference manager and myself, it's usually we work, she won't do weddings, but we work and help each other out if we have something to do. We both, both couples got to go see our friends in Albuquerque. And the first comment was, oh, so good to see you. How are you here? <laughs> you know, because I can never join in on some of those things. Um, we can't say no to business, but maybe you can finagle it a little bit cheaper. You can go. It's, it's not been real easy, even after 36 years, it's still, I still get complaints. I feel bad, but I really enjoy, so again, I really enjoy what I do. So we figure out some. I'm so excited. I was off last weekend and I'm off this weekend too. So two weekends in the morning. So it'll be his time. We'll do something together. And we love Bunce Park where we live, so we'll probably just do that or go camping or take the dogs for a while. So, that's my Finding um, the balance, that's a tough question. I think finding a balance is finding something you enjoy that's not your work. <laughs> um, or you don't think your work is work. I think finding that balance is very crucial. Um, when I first started in the event industry, I worked my butt off because I needed to get my name out there and network. As I grew in more and more into that, I got to pick and choose what I wanted. So that gave me the balance. But it took a lot of hard work to get there. Um, even now, I was trying to find a, hard ba a, a balance for me now because I'm trying, I want to get all the stuff done. But just finding something that you enjoy to do yourself, yourself enjoy to do yourself, um, if it's spending time with somebody or if it's not, or just taking a walk. As long as you have that balance and you know what you're doing is rewarding to you, go for it. But you have to find a balance between your work. If you think it's work, then it's not fun. Then you should find something else. Because if you're not passionate about it, and you think what you're doing is to move up faster, you're not going to enjoy it. And it's going to show when you meet your clients. So if you can find something that you love to do that doesn't seem like work, it'll work out. And events are so broad that you can just, you know, if, if you're that interested in events, find an area, you know. I was adamantly against weddings and my daughter talked me into it and we did it for three years and I called the worst three years of my life because I was forced to do something I didn't want to do. And I hated that part. Um, and so now I just say no to things I don't want to do. And that's from being in business for 12 years and being able to do that. but. Yeah, that's my big life balance. But if you work for a, a property like Brenda does, that, that's not an option. So you really do have to work on that, that balance.